What is that? It's 10.47. We think there's someone outside the door. What the hell was that? Welcome to Kermit Uncut, where we are revisiting The Visit. A week or so ago, I did a blog talking about M. Night Shyamalan's new film, which I had really disliked and I had been very dismissive of in my review. And I was very surprised to find out that some people felt very differently. Some thought it was his best work in years. Mark Miller, in particular, whose work I admire very much, really, really liked The Visit. I did a blog saying, look, what did you think? I mean, I can't tell you that I liked it because I didn't, and I need to be honest about my responses. I mean, it didn't work for me on any level at all. Didn't think it was scary, didn't think it was funny, didn't think it was, you know, interesting, just thought it was annoying for most of the film. But your responses to my question have been very telling because they have been very very divided. Let me read you just a few of them. This from The Squiss. I sincerely hope this is the final nail in the coffin of Shyamalan's career. It is dull, predictable, scare-free ham for the most part. Surely this must feature in your top 10 of the year's worst films. And I have to say that was pretty much my reaction. I saw very little to redeem the movie at all. This from Rachel. Not another film with awful, shaky, handheld camera work. Pass. Now, I imagine that means Rachel hasn't seen the film. And actually, in Shyamalan's defense, the shaky cam is not the most important element of the yeah, film. Okay. But I feel the same way that you do. And I've seen the film. This from Herbert West. A bit of a different take. I like The Visit enough. It's Shyamalan's best since Unbreakable although not in the same league as that movie. Some genuinely scary moments, no jump scares, which is damn near miraculous in a modern horror movie, and I really liked the two kids at the centre of the story. Yes, even the rapping. This was particularly interesting to me because Mark Miller said the same thing. He said he found the kids really engaging, and the kid doing the rapping didn't annoy him. He thought it was kind of cute and a little bit funny. This from Arch Stanton. If Shyamalan's planning on having a big reveal or third act twist in his next project, might I humbly suggest making it something good? Surely nobody would see that coming. Now this, I think, is particularly in reference to the fact that I saw the twist coming right from the very beginning. In fact, some people have accused me of plot spoiling, which all I did was state what happens at the beginning of the film when it seemed glaringly obvious what was going to happen at the end. But I'm sorry for anyone if what I said did spoil it. I mean, as far as I was concerned, the film spoiled itself. Are you holding my camera properly? Swerve, girl. Stop, both of you! This from Daisy, a much more sympathetic hearing. I understand why people hate the visit. The children were annoying, it was ageist, and there were quite a few pretty ludicrous scenes. However, I didn't see the twist coming a mile off, as others did, and I found it genuinely disturbing. I was still thinking about it a couple of days later, and it made me think about visual horror and horror of ideas. It sort of stayed with me, and I'm always on the lookout for horror films that can do more than just disgust or jump scare me. So that was a big plus for the visit for me. Now, although Daisy's comment is in the minority so far in terms of the Kermit Uncut responses, many other people have said the same thing, that they did find the film genuinely disturbing, that they did find its ideas interesting, and that they didn't see the big plot twist coming. And I have to say, if that many people are saying it, it must be working for some people. Not me, but for others. Let's make it a perfect night. What is that? Last couple of points. This from Dominic Holmes. No, you're not wrong. A guy sitting in front of me fell asleep during it and snored at various intervals. I wasn't bothered by him. I always thought... That's the greatest dismissal of a film if somebody else misbehaving in the cinema doesn't put you off at all. Finally, this from Hucko003. I like the film quite a lot. Although it wasn't particularly scary and also the pacing was uneven, the storyline was well crafted and the acting was top notch. It's Shyamalan's best film in a while and it's good to see him finally break out of his cycle of each of his films being worse than the last. I think the thing that I can take away from this is firstly, it's crucially important for a critic to always say what they think. You can't sort of change your opinions because you think the audience might disagree with you. But secondly, it's clear from all this discussion that the visit is working for some audiences. Now, it's true that it did quite well in the first week of its box office. It's dropped off quite significantly in the second week. But a good number of people who've seen it have loved it, and an equal number of people who've seen it have hated it. And I have to confess, I generally admire films that divide audiences that much. So despite the fact that I really didn't like The Visit at all, I've kind of got a sneaking admiration for the way it split the audience down the middle. I'm sad, it's all over. <laughs>
gonna get you. 